Hey, 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 it's Lisa with Fossil Finding Female. Hope you're doing well today. It is the, um, what is today? June the 16th, 2023. It is around 1826, so it's 6.30. It's a nice time of the night, one of my favorites. But I was gonna show you some of my recent finds. Uh, very interesting, I think. I think they're very, 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 very interesting. <laughs> It, oh, it's not getting you, Joey. This one is an interesting piece. I mean, it's just crazy looking. Um, it, to me, it looks like some sort of body organ that's fossilized. The coloring, the this, you know the way it looks it looks biological it actually looks like a jaw here because if you see there's like some teeth looking things right here it could be even some sort of bird if you look at it this way this could be the beak and this could be the eye here on this side from like mud fossil university uh, the stuff that's been laying in the mud and I find a lot of things that kind of are similar. They have the shape of a, of a bird head, some sort of bird, and uh, they usually have different mineral on their beak. You also usually see at least one eye. Isn't that interesting? I find it highly, highly interesting. It has an opening at the bottom where, you know, it would be attached to the rest of the body. So it's very, 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 very interesting. My hair is a mess, but who cares? I've been outside all day trying to enjoy the day and um, get the yard, you know. Here in New Mexico, it's pretty darn um, dry, drought, and they say there's fires, possibly. Fire threat, watch. Here's another one. To me, this looks more like some sort of like a, a serpent head possibly, or um, kind of resembles that by just looking at the shape of it and the color of it. It just kind of, you know, has the same patterns, pattern as a lot of the reptiles would. I know it sounds crazy, but if you haven't checked out Mud Fossil University, you should, I'll try to always link him down below because he's uh, done DNA on some of the things he has, his findings, and it's rather interesting and intriguing to um, hear what, you know, he does. This, I think, I found this this week, uh, this a few days ago, and I think this might have been a tool. Kind of looks like one, but what do I know? I don't know. <laughs> if you know, please uh, drop a little note, a little comment. You know, it kind of looks like it could have been a pounding stone and they held it like this. Um, you know, I, I really don't know. It's kind of like sandstone though, so I'm not sure. But I thought it was cool. I picked it up anyway. <clears throat> This kind of looked like something that was like a tool as well. And, you know, it's kind of got some lines through it up there. That's what I was trying to get to where you could see in the... When it dries, it's got lines all the way down through it. But it's an interesting uh, shape, if nothing else. <laughs> Here's it dry.
it looks to me like something that you, you, you know biology and not geology uh, when you just look at the different color variation um, the shape of course you know they seem to always have something that resembles some sort of that something that used to be alive here there's kind of like there's possibly two eyes or an eye so if that was an eye I mean it would be like that'd be the top it'd be on the bottom I'm guessing because they, they get smashed you know uh, the fossilized animals and things from the big major flood but I found it cool anyway it's got like a little tail here you know it could be a turtle for all I know I don't I don't know or an effigy of a turtle or this I don't know here either um, I know that it's it's um, dang I just had it on the it's on the tip of my tongue I know what the type of stone is I just can't pull it up right this second but um, it's a whole ball of one of that stuff <sighs> thought clots I gotta take some ginkgo biloba but um, I find these really cool with all the holes in them and things like that. Plus, it's one of those, it's not flint, but it's close to it. Um, anyway, I'll think of it. Maybe I'll put it down at the end once I look in my notes. <laughs> and so you can know what I was talking about. Um, or if it comes to me before that. Here's a pretty just cool looking stone. It kind of looks like wood to me, or petrified wood. But again, I could be wrong. It um, kind of very flat on here very flat right here it has a little lip here that looks like could have possibly been made that way so I, I don't know who knows but it's still pretty darn cool so I found you know these right here is what I'm going through here Quite a few. Um, I mean, that's a, look like a pretty cool piece of a tool. I think a scraper, possibly. If not, it could be like a bone that's fossilized. But it does appear to have some work done to it around the edges here. If you can see that, can you see it on that side. Excuse my nails, I haven't done them. I haven't done them and I didn't feel like it, but they look like crap. I'm always messing with the dirt. Um, this is with it wet. So it could be in a fish. A fish made into a tool. It does have some different type of, uh, kind of looks like a little face of something right here. You see that? <laughs> the mouth, the nose, the eye. But anyway, um, it, it is an interesting piece, and I, of course, picked it up. This one is a really nice. I like it um, here. It looks like flint up here. It's very nice, lightish blue, pearlescent looking um, on the top. And let's see how that is. So everything when it's going to fossilize after it goes through these exchanges of gas. They're gonna fossilize differently, but I can always see like almost like an eye somewhere on one side and like a, a no nostril or something where if this was like a serpent head, a snake head, which they found one over in India that's totally wrapped around a uh, huge, like a giant, giant snake that was fossilized. So, you know, there it is happening. We just don't, haven't seen it until, I haven't noticed it at all until recently. And I've just been pretty amazed and pretty intrigued. I'm a truth seeker. I want to seek the truth. And I think there's a lot out there that is not the truth. Um, in every aspect of our lives, they have trained, trained us wrong. I did get a strike on my, um, ZZ Easy channel for talking about, um, something. They, they remove it before I could see it. Uh, which I was surprised because I thought they'd at least let me see, but maybe I had said wrong, but they said, um, medical disinformation. And all I've ever said is what's things that do, that do for me. Things, you know, but I'm, I guess I'm not supposed to mention certain names and certain um, items. But this was a really cool piece anyway. Um, 
So I don't know if that channel, if you see that channel at all, if it, you know, if it's up, gonna stay up or not, because I had two strikes prior to that, and the third one I was out, but um, the last thing I saw was, you have one week of suspension, and then after a week I tried, and it said you have too many strikes, so you can't upload right now or at this time. So who the heck knows, but um, anyway, here's another interesting one. Again, they're all interesting, but see how here you can actually see if there was it been an eye right there and an, even right there on that side. Where it would have been connected to the rest of the body. You know, it is a lot to take in. I had to struggle with it because I was like, what, what, what? They don't teach us that. But it's just very hard to think that it's just all of them have kind of just, you know, became that way. I don't think so. How long has it been? 11 minutes. Okay. No. Yeah. I have my glasses on. Uh, this one's interesting as well. Um, just has a an odd here kind of could be an eye let's pretend it is and then here it would have been flat in the mud and then there is a place where that eye could have been but was closed up who knows we don't know it's just interesting and I'm just showing you and giving you some of my thoughts my opinions from all these that I've seen and picked up it's pretty cool This is before it's wet. Again, I don't, I'm not really sure. Uh, let's see. Low battery. Okay, we got to. And I have to get off just because of the battery. This one has a lot of different um, coloring in it. Um, they don't look like a concretion to me. Uh, I've seen some on fossil form them saying that that's definitely concretion and it has actually detailed like uh, layers of say the fins or something. It's, it's like that is no way a concretion. Um, this is with it wet. We need to follow our own God-given senses and stop believing what everybody told us in school and all that other stuff. Research it yourself, be your own investigator with your health, with everything, even with your hobbies. Um, I find it highly interesting. But the phone's gonna probably die on me so I should probably get off. Let's see, I'll do uh, one more here. Hopefully it don't you know, cut us off. This right here I think is a tool. It's real sharp on one side. <clears throat> right here it's sharp. And then you turn it. See how sharp that is there? It appears to have been like a scraper, possibly. Um, but I don't know. It is just super sharp here. It's not as sharp there as it is. Um, no, that is where it's sharp, right here. This is the sharpest part. But anyway, thanks for joining me. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. I need a thousand subscribers so I can go live and um, actually talk and uh, interact with you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you for the next video. God bless you, and goodbye.